Hi, Eric here from Laser Skating TV. I'm together here with uh, Fabian. Hi. Yeah, and as you know, if I'm with Fabian on mission, mostly hardware, often Ferro. Yes. And we do uh, something secret here. What we do? We are allowed to test a new Ferro Flash today. Yeah, and for this episode, I give him a new name. He is Flashman. I'm Robin. If you like to check out what secret mission does for the scanner, stay tuned. Yeah, hello Flashman. Maybe you can give me as the stupid Robin uh, some information what a Flash does for the customer. The idea is um, that you can scan faster uh, or reduce the scanning time. Um, how does it work? You have the speeding up from the mirror and the speeding down after the scan. And what the new Ferro Flash does is he holds the speed from the, from the mirror all the time that you can scan, yeah, place the scanner on the, on the next station and then press uh, scan again and he starts directly to scan the, the point cloud. Yeah, maybe some uh, technical back information. Uh, most scanners have a maximum rotation of the mirror from 100 Hz and if you have these old methods to use this, you start the scanner, then the scanner starts to turn the mirror and you need a consistent turning of the mirror. Eagle, if you have 100 Hz, 60, 30 or I don't know, it needs some permanent rotation and then he is starting with the scan process and afterwards he stopped and then he have to slow down uh, the movement and this took some additional time what is not effective because you don't measure in this time and the idea from the Faro guys was have it a permanent rotation and you, we save this time for accelerate the mirror and then stop the mirror. So the time save um, in my calculation is about 20 to 30 percent uh, which we have in, in the scanning mode. Important to know is that the new Faro Flash just works with the Pano Cam um, on it and yes. Um, Robin, I don't know, do you want to start? Yeah, yeah, we can start. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I'm <super> interested. <laughs> so um, what we do is to control everything with the Faro Stream app. Okay, now we are here in the Faro Stream app. All we need to do is that we choose um, a, new, a new scanning profile, which is called Flash. Uh, we have the standard profiles um, yeah, still inside, but we have a fifth um, profile now included. Um, yeah, if I choose the profile, I just start, press start, and then he will directly start to measure. We have a color capturing from the panel cam. You heard it uh, maybe um, at the beginning of the scan. Then he yeah, does his measurement and you will see after the measurement he holds the, the speed from the mirror. Yeah, so. Now the first scan is um, yeah, over and we I see have to move? he's yeah. still turning. Yeah, please, next station. Okay, <laughs> next station, I just press start on the Faro Stream app. Um, the good thing is we will have a pre-registration after the scan um, procedure because the forest streamer just works normally uh, as it did in the, in the past. Um, yeah, so he will connect directly in the field scan per scan. So, as you see, next scan is already done. Ah, ready right. to move. Next scan, next scan is starting. Right. We just walk with the scanner, that we are not inside the skin. And as we see on the on the screen from the first stream, it's yeah still building up uh, its point cloud. Flashman, one more. Uh, yes, please, um, please go over here in the center. Ah, okay, we go here. Yes, uh, that we see a little bit more in the first stream map. The pre-registration looks well. I like the sound <laughs> of the Tetra. It's a little bit like 80s uh, uh, years computer plays. Yeah. <laughs> Tetris. <laughs> yeah. As you see, you have to be really fast um, on the scanning because um, yeah, even you can you can use your spheres, for example, your reference spheres too. But if you use them, you have to be very fast to place them. So normally, um, the Faro Flash is just for cloud-to-cloud -cloud registration. Um, makes more sense, but you can do it as well. Flashman, you should yeah. stop. We um, do a last one, last scan, and, the last one, okay. and um, then we see what we got here. Uh, super fast here. Yeah. If you want going there here, <laughs> to be quick, it's very good for your time stuff.
good. So these were uh, five skins in yeah. about three minutes. Um, and as we see on the uh, forest tree map, we have yeah. scanned a large area already. And that's what it's all about. Yeah, just to be much faster, I will stop the skin now. Um, and after I stop the scan, you can just scan normally with your normal profiles. Uh, you can continue to scan. So it's, yeah, you can change that if you want to scan like 20 scans with the flash mode and then, yeah, in normal mode and then we can fresh flash mode. So you are free to choose. We actually have tested this. Um, I was hear something about how it works, but we are not really safe. I heard it something that the scanner not scan every horizontal line, he jumps one line forwards and then they have some gap filling with the camera, but we are not really sure. Uh, I think we have to explain this later because we are not trustful. The Faro developed don't tell us all, uh, everything what they are doing, but maybe uh, after this is published, after you have seen it, yes. uh, then we can give you some other information about it. And it's even possible that they will change some things. So yeah, we can just say uh, more details when it's out. Yeah. What you definitely need is customer. You need uh, this Ricoh camera. Which type of camera? That's a Ricoh Theta Z1. Okay. And you need the adapter that you can order in our shop if you like. Yes. Yeah, this one, order this in some internet shops or the local electronic dealer. I don't know. Um, and you need the Faro Focus uh, Premium. Right. And as this also works with existing system, you don't have to buy a new one. Also, if you have a premium already, there will be a software update. I heard it. Maybe you have to pay a little bit, but we don't have any numbers yet. Or maybe it's free. I don't know. It's uh, up to Faro. And what can be an application for users to use this flash um, function? I would say it's just casual user group uh, we already had. So it's all about on the flash mode um, that you can scan more faster. If you have just all the scans, the same uh, procedure and the same resolution, then you can be a little bit faster that you yeah, don't turn up, uh, turn down the speed and turn up the speed. So I would say the customer group is yeah still the same. Um, it's like like this one AC market like houses. Yes. If you don't need the highest accuracy uh, yes. uh, resolution, and we had the idea if you go in industry, if you have to scan machinery, you scan it with a higher resolution with the old function, what is also pretty fast. Yeah. And if you go in a storage area where you have only some cargo boxes, then you can maybe use the speed function to reduce the scan time. Yeah. 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 I think that's right. all. Thank you for watching the video and uh, see you next time. Yeah, and don't forget, subscribe to the channel and give us a thumb up. Tell all your friends about Flashman and Robin only for this episode. Bye bye.